Cristiano Ronaldo celebrates his goal in Portugal's 1-0 defeat of Morocco. Getty Images Cristiano Ronaldo seems to have decided 2018 is the year he becomes a World Cup hero. And it's a good thing for Portugal, too, because he's basically all it has right now. The defending European champions bested a scrappy Morocco side 1-0 in Tuesday, putting themselves in position to advance to the round of 16 as long as they don't lose to Iran in the final game of the group stage next Monday. And just like in Friday's thrilling 3-3 draw with arch-rival Spain, the 33-year-old forward was responsible for his side's entire score sheet. Ronaldo's goal on Wednesday came in the fourth minute when the Portuguese captain found himself unmarked in the Morocco penalty box on a corner kick and powered a thunderous header past the keeper. It was an emphatic way to start the game in a statement both teams struggled to recover from, as neither looked dangerous over the final 86 minutes of a generally dreary match. While some teams might try to avoid being so over-reliant on one player, Portugal is used to this. And it knows it can work, too, as Ronaldo was the driving force in the Euro 2016 title run, even if he couldn't finish the final game because of an injury. That's because Ronaldo, even slightly past his world-beating prime, is good enough to take this team deep into the tournament. Wednesday's goal brings Ronaldo's total to a tournament leading four and it's hard to see anyone slowing him down now. While this performance wasn't as dominant as Friday's, he was the most dangerous player on the pitch throughout, and that's going to be the case against most teams. As long as Portugal can play solid defence and get the ball to the captain on the counter-attack, he can challenge anyone. Of course, Ronaldo. As Iran showed in a spirited 1-0 loss to Spain, it won't back down easily. But as long as Portugal have Ronaldo, it'll feel good about its chances. Goal of the day there are lucky bounces, and then there are lucky bounces. As Spain's Diego Costa tried to buy himself some space in the day's late game against Iran, his shot took a nasty ricochet off a defender and snuck into the lower corner for the game's only goal. A poacher if there ever was one, Costa likely won't care about the lack of style points for his strike. Tomorrow's game's Denmark vs. Australia, 8am. After a hard-fought win against Peru on Saturday, Denmark know that a win will book it a spot in the next round. Meanwhile, Australia, who looked much better than expected against France that day, can give itself a chance at a shocking round of 16 qualification if it can pull off the upset. France vs. Peru, 11am. France are probably the most talented side at this World Cup, but under manager Didier Deschamps it has never really gelled. Will tomorrow's matchup with a solid but defensively challenged Peru be the game where it finally figures it out? It had better hope so if it wants to challenge for the cup. Argentina vs. Croatia, 2 p.m. As strange as it may sound to American fans, Argentina and captain Lionel Messi are in serious danger of flaming out of this World Cup if they don't get a result against Croatia tomorrow. Even more concerning for Argentina, based on how it's played over the last couple years, the Croatians just might be the favourites.